Good morning, one kids, and it's great to be speaking to you again today. And today we've got the story of Gideon, Gideon the brave man. So are you ready and listening? Gideon, God whispered. Oh, Gideon, God called. I need your help, you brave and mighty man. But Gideon was nowhere to be found. As a matter of fact, he was hiding in a pit his father used for crushing grapes. You can't be talking to me, Gideon stammered. I'm no brave and mighty man. But God knew what he was doing. He always does. You're the man, all right, God said. The Midianites have my people surrounded and I want you to round up an army to stop them. Gideon did what God told him and to his surprise, over 30,000 men agreed to join him. Gideon, whispered God. Oh, Gideon, God called. You have far too many men. I want you to send some of them away. There are more Midianites than I can count, Gideon stammered. I need all the help I can get. But God knew what he was doing. He always does. I am all the help you need, God said. So tell the men who are frightened to go home. Gideon did what God told him, and when it finished, there were only 10,000 left. Gideon, God whispered. Oh, Gideon, God called. You still have far too many men. So here's what I want you to do. Gideon listened to God's plan. Gideon stammered and shook. Then he led his men to the river and told them to have a drink. Some of the men lapped up the water like a dog. And Gideon sent those men home. And some of the men scooped up the water using their hands to drink. And he kept those men. And in the end, there were only 300 men left in Gideon's army. Gideon, God whispered. Oh, Gideon, God called. Now we are ready to fight the Midianites. But there are thousands of them, Gideon stammered, and only 300 of us. How can we possibly win? You can't, God said. Not without my help. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to see that. Now listen, here's my plan. Later that night, Gideon led his 300 men to the edge of the Midianite camp. In one hand, every soldier carried a trumpet and in the other hand, an earthenware pot with a flaming torch inside. There wasn't a sword in sight. At Gideon's signal, the soldiers blew their trumpets, smashed their pots and shouted for the Lord and for Gideon. The Midianite soldiers woke startled. It seemed as if there was noise and fire all around them. Dazed and confused, they stumbled about in the dark, into each other and over each other. And it wasn't long before they were fighting each other too. When all the fighting had stopped, the Midianite soldiers who were left ran away, convinced that they had been defeated by some great army. But it was only Gideon and his 300 men and a God who knew what he was doing all along. Wow, how amazing is it when we rely on the power of God to help us? I hope you enjoyed the story today, one kids. See you next week.